Hi everyone, I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about livable space and it relates to mental health. So you can be healthy from a physical aspect, meaning I run, I lift weights, I do yoga, I stretch or, or whatever to take care of my physical body. But we also have mental health, which is how we feel and our emotional health, our social health, how we interact with other people. With the stay at home COVID-19 restrictions, some people are feeling confined at home. They're in a house maybe with a lot of people or they might be living alone and they just don't like to stay in as much. So I'm going to talk to you about livable spaces and this is where we can look at not just what's inside the house, but how can we take something outside the house, even a really, really small space and make it another place where we can go. Maybe it's a little quieter or it's outside where we can see the birds and listen to the wind and watch the neighbors go by walking their dogs or whatever. So I'm going to give you some examples of what I've done in my own home to create some little places of relaxation that make me feel better. And these are places that uh, typically are outside, although one of the places I'll show you is my garage. So again, this is taking the space that you have and converting it. You can have a really small space and create a really, really nice space to go. I used to have a one bedroom apartment, it was very small, had a little tiny patio, but I had a very small table out there and a small barbecue and I could go out there and sit and look out over my balcony and, and uh, see some of the trees down in the river wash. So let's go for a little walk and I'll show you some examples of livable space. Maybe you'll get some ideas and you can do that at home too. All right, let's go outside. I'm gonna go out my front door. I'm gonna show you a little livable space out here that I've established on my front porch. So when we moved in, this was full of uh, vines, this wall here, and it was uh, pretty nasty. The rats were living in it and all kinds of stuff. So I took that out, ripped all the vines out, sealed that off with some knotty pine, and made it look really, really nice. And then I brought a chair out here and a, made a little table and a little footstool, and I put up some shelves. I've got a little reading light here. I've got a couple of cactus plants, some candles I light at night after the sun goes down. It's just really, really nice and relaxing. I have a couple of fitness tools here. There's a health wand and some Indian clubs there in the corner. And then this is the view. As I look out of my front yard, I see a little cactus garden that I built and some stones. So, this is not a very large space. Let me get over here so you can see just how small it is. It's very, very tiny. So there's the front door. It's not very wide, but it's a beautiful, beautiful space. And so I can come out here, or people in my family, and we can sit and get outside, and I, you can get away from the television or the people talking in the house and just come out here and, and sit in the quiet. So this is an example of livable space. Now I've also created another little space right here with the stones and I'll go out there and do some exercising. Now that's not a very big space but it's big enough for me to do some movement. So I can go from my porch out here to the stepping stones, do a little stretching, a little exercise, maybe some yoga, and then go back to the porch. So this is an example of one space and this is an example of a completely different space. So what kind of space do you have at home to create something that you like that makes you feel good? Plants are an important part of that. Can you make a planter box or can you go buy just a real simple little plant? Like the cactus doesn't take a lot of maintenance. A little bit of water once a week and it's pretty happy. It's even got a little flower on it. If you look, you can see it. Okay, we're gonna go into the garage and I'll show you what I've done outside uh, in the garage. It's kind of outside, but it's still inside, but it's not in the actual house. Okay, this is my garage. Now my family lives in the garage almost because we're always out here exercising. We've got all kinds of exercise stuff. Now a lot of people only use the garage for the car. Or they just have stuff stored in there and they don't really spend much time in the garage. But we like to use it as another livable space because we can come out here away from the television, away from other people inside the house, or maybe we come out here as a family and it gives us a different kind of a view. 
it's a different type of space. So again, it's not a huge garage, it's a double car garage, but I've taken a lot of time and I built racks for my ending clubs. These are uh, tools that I use to exercise my shoulders and my brain. I've got the Swedish stall bar there where I use gravity. I can do pull-ups and different types of stretching. I've got all the dumbbells there and the dumbbell rack and some kettlebells and some Tai Chi balls and weighted balls and a martial arts boxing punching bag and the indoor bicycle. I've got my health wands over here. Here's my tools. I come out here and I also don't just exercise but I build things with my tools. And so it becomes a, a multi-purpose space. I can exercise out here hard. I can exercise easy and do things that are gentle. I can do martial arts. I can build wood projects. And this is all just in a fairly small space. It's a double car garage. And we've taken it and we've made the most out of it. And some of our best memories of a fam uh, as a family are actually out here in the garage and so it becomes a very nice space for us and we can open the door and we can watch the neighbors go by walking their dogs listen to the birds feel the breeze blowing so this is another example of making a livable space outside the actual house all right here's another example of something i've done to create a, a nicer livable space this is adding a little water fountain and so water is very soothing and people like to listen to the water even if it's a smaller fountain. This is kind of a medium sized fountain. But this is just the patio in my backyard and you can hear a lot of noise of garbage trucks rolling by. Somebody's got a, a weed eater going or a blower, it's really noisy. And so if you bring out some water like this, you can kind of calm and soothe some of those other sounds of the ambient environment that might be a little stressful. The garbage truck probably uh, isn't the best sounding thing out there. A little water can help. And this is just my back patio. So there's uh, the, the squat rack where we do some weightlifting. I've also got my, my wood project going out here. So some of you have patios. Put a chair out there. Maybe you can get a little water fountain. And then when the garbage truck goes by, it won't sound so harsh. So here's another example of a little corner of livable space. Here's my pull-up bar out in the backyard. We spent some time out here exercising, but I also built a little deck out here. And I built that to have little uh, backyard parties where we could get uh, the DJ booth up there. But it's also a little place to sit. And I've been thinking about maybe creating something... Um, a little more fancy up here maybe putting in some lights and maybe a lattice and back which is a little kind of a grid thing that those plants in the corner can grow down and maybe add a little more privacy and also wind block because it would be higher than the fence so here's another little space that i can create that i have a little bit different feeling than the front porch or a little different feeling than the patio and it'd be different than the garage so again i'm just taking little spaces in creating something, a little place where I can go sit and reflect and maybe read and, and uh, just hang out.